Hi everyone, I'm Tom and today I'm going to be playing Blackout Hong Kong, which is the new game from Essence Build 2018 from designer Alexander Pfister of Mombasa, Great Western Trail, Isle of Sky, many, many games of fame. And is that a sentence? It almost is, isn't it? So in this game, the power has gone out in Hong Kong and it's been out for quite some time and you know, things are going wrong, as you might imagine. And we are here with our specialists and our volunteers to try and sort things out, to try and bring back some order to the place. As you can see, there's a blackout, so it's very dark around. We start off the game in similar positions. We both have hands of cards that are the same. We both got two random starting specialists that are starting objectives, and we get a different emergency plan. There are a different number of cards in the deck for the number of players. I'm playing a two-player game today. Just realized that Marty hasn't shown up. There he is. So, in the game, there are eight phases to a round. The starting player gets this marker, and we all go through the phases one by one. So, we all do the first one, we all do the second one, etc., etc. You know what I mean, don't you? Uh, so, as the first player, I need to roll the resource dice, and we then plan our cards. So, I roll here, and we have to make sure that all of the dice are different. If you roll multiple, you re-roll all of those duplicates again until you've got three completely different dice. So we've got food, water, and fuel. Now, they aren't the only resources we can get hold of, but they're maybe the easiest to get hold of. So if we look at our hand of cards. Oh, before I get started, I'm forgetting every single time. So don't click on subtitles uh, to be informed of any mistakes I might have made. And if you don't like the handheld cam, there is a static camera option. If you don't like the static camera, then there's a handheld camera option. So much choice. So we have a hand of cards here. We have specialists like these. They are all purple. And they do a particular action. So say the doctor here can be given one medical supplies and then they can bring someone back from the hospital and score the amount of points on their card. Now that's important because we can't use these people in the hospital and they are worth no points at the end of the game if they're still in there. So they do a particular action. All of the other cards have these squares at the top and basically when we use the services of these volunteers they get us resources according to the dice. So if I play this card, this red volunteer, he's going to get me one fuel. And that isn't set in stone, that can be changed. But what we, need to, what we need to do now in the plan cards section, we have three rows of cards here, three columns of cards, three piles of cards. And we need to play one card to each of these piles. And then in any order, we get to activate them in phase two and we deploy the volunteers so we are planning out our action then we will execute it and then we'll do more phases you'll find out about them later don't rush me so what do we want starting with the objectives that i've started the game with i've actually randomly got two that give you two red cubes so if these were played they would get me two fuel each in this particular round to get access to these cards i need to fulfill their objectives so i need to pay a book and a food to take the card into my hand and I would get to put some cubes on the board. We'll see that later and why that's important. Or the other one here is a water and a medical supplies. So if I can get a combination of some of those resources, I'll, I'll be in a good position, I think, and I can start getting more cards into my hand, more options, more points, more happiness. So what shall we do? So what have we rolled here? We've got water, haven't we? So to get that water, I could just play the yellow card, I start off with a one yellow cube card, and you do this face down as well, it's all in secret. And then you'll reveal them when you actually activate them. But So I remember, they're face up for now. Okay, so I also need medical supplies. They haven't come up in the roll this round, but I can still get access to them. We start the game with five transport tokens each, and we can get more later by spending a point for each of them. You can use a transport token when you activate the card to basically move a space on this rondelle. So if I wanted medical supplies, I could play a blue card and one transport token, and that's one over, so I would be able to get medical supplies. Or I could play a yellow card and pay two transport tokens to get it, if I didn't have any blue cards, for example. So if I want those medical supplies, and I don't think it says this in the rules, but you know, to remember, I would put them on here just, just so I remember what my plan was. So I've got those. Now, can I get 
some food or some books. Oh, I got another blue card. I've got, yeah, I've got another blue card. Because if I really just wanted to go for these objectives right now and get them off as soon as possible, I can get the three resources and then I still haven't got any books though. We start the game with a battery each and they can be used as a wild resource. So really, I have got everything that I need for those two cards if that's what I really want to go for. I think it is. <laughs> so I have this hand of cards now that just stays with me. And I've planned my cards. Come over to Marty. He's got the exact same cards, different artwork on them. But uh, yeah, the same, the same actions basically to start with. He's started off with some different starting objectives. He's got a double yellow and a double red. And so he wants water and tools or food and fuel. So food and fuel is, is a combination that's come right out. So he could do this and get those cards out. And things you want to be thinking about. So if Marty gets this red worker into his hand, he'll also get to put a cube on one of the red spaces on the board. He's already picked a space to start off in. And so he wants to build off that space. He has to build adjacently or he has to pay transport tokens to skip spaces. So since he started on a red space, maybe, maybe that wouldn't have been good to start off in a red space. If he chose to start off on this space, for example. So the reason he started up there is his emergency plan wants him to form a link from B to B. When he does that, he'll get five money and maybe he can get some extra points. We'll see when we get there. So he just started on one of the B spaces, but if he starts on the other B space, that's adjacent to a red, and he can put a cube there when he gets this card back, so he can start to plan it out. And the next one is yellow, so even better for this one. Now it doesn't really, unfortunately, my path is C to C, and you'll see here that there aren't really any red on the way to the next C, and I started off with two red cards, so I might have to do something different. It's, it'll probably work out still. So these are the available objectives we'll be able to get later on. Marty could spend some time, you know, planning ahead and thinking about what he wants for the future. I think for now he just wants some more resources and food and water aren't, you aren't able to keep those from round to round. They will turn into money or maybe other things and that can work to your advantage. But if you want to build up resources like Marty does, you don't want to get food or water. So he's going to get some fuel as his extra card. We rolled the resource dice, then we planned our cards. That's phase one. Phase two is deploy volunteers and specialists. So I'm the first player. I do mine first. So I was getting a water, wasn't I? Now, when you get resources, you take one of your cubes and put them in the space of that resource. So that counts as me having one water now, having a cube there. Then I was spending a transport token and a blue to get medical supplies. And then I was just getting food, I think, with the blue. Okay, they, they all stay, even though I just grabbed them as if to put them away. They all stay exactly where they are now, because uh, they, they may well not come back to you yet. And Marty's pretty simple. He is just getting blue, red, red. That is going to be food, fuel, fuel. Okay, next we come to objectives, and this is where we can complete our goals. Now, I am going just for these new cards, aren't I? Yes. So... These cards come into my hand now. I'm paying the four resources I need. So that's everything that I've got, basically. And as long as these cards aren't in the hospital at the end of the game, I've earned myself four points. So it's not bad, is it? So they come into my hand, and I, for each one, I get to put a cube on a red space on the board. Unfortunately for me, you have to build adjacent. So this one's fine. But I'm going to have to pay a transport token now to skip one of these spaces. So I'll pay that. Which space do I want to go to? This one or this one? I think... I think this one's better because it's adjacent to more districts and you might want that as we'll see in a bit. I haven't got any other objectives to fulfill so that's the end of my phase three. Marty wanted this one, didn't he? So he is going to spend his food and fuel by taking cubes off of here. And he gets to place a cube in a red space as well. And he is just going to build adjacent to where he is. Next, we have the scouting phase. In scouting, you pick a tile from a district that you are adjacent to. And you send part of the party that's in your hand to go and scout these resources. So I think I wouldn't mind doing some scouting. I'm going to just pick this one. And we get a choice of three tiles here. 
Now, what goes into our choice? Well, first of all, how many people you've got here to scout. At the start of the game, that's a lot of people in my hand. So I've got a lot to send there because you need to pick one. Say I wanted some points here. If I send people with four search tokens, I can get a point. If I can send people with 12 search tokens, I can get six points. So the advanced goals are a lot better, but you're going to have to have a, a lot of those search tokens in your hand. You can get extra ones later on by spending some of your water or by getting cards that give you those tokens. But yeah, for now, we haven't really got those big numbers yet. So say I wanted these points, and I might well do. You know, on my emergency plan, I have some scout tokens that I want to achieve. One of them is for points. One of them is for tools. Let's say I want to go for this points one then. The ones I didn't pick go face up back into the district. So everyone can see now if they need a particular one, it's available over here. I need to pick cards from my hand so that I've got four search tokens. Now, every card except the doctor, I believe, has got these search tokens on it, every volunteer anyway. So I go through my hand and you have to think of what you are prepared to lose because you're going to lose one of these cards. Well, temporarily anyway, they're going to go into the hospital. I don't want to lose either of my double reds. I can't send my doctor. Let's see, turning fuel or books into a, a three search token token. Uh, I don't think we want to lose that. The, the mechanic gets you money. We want to keep her, I think. We've got a lot of red. We've got a lot of single reds, haven't we? And we've just taken those two double reds. So I think let's send... Yeah, let's send all of our single reds. And do we send our only yellow? Then, we, then we've, we haven't got blue already. We've only got red to send if I send the yellow. So we'll send the, we'll send the, the scout that can get more scout tokens. Okay, so this is our search party. We've got four tokens, so they are fine to search, and I'm going to get one point. Now, this is my first search token of this type, where points is the reward. So this goes face up over here. At the end of the game you get points based on the number of different search tokens that you've got. So at the moment, I've got two points. I've got one type of search token. Next, we go to our scout party that we sent, and we need to shuffle it up. Going to be difficult with one hand, isn't it? We need to shuffle it up <laughs> as best we can and just pick one at random that is going to go into the hospital because of the strain of the, of the scouting. Uh, so let's just pick this one, and it's the scout. The scouts over there cannot be used until the doctor rescues them. The rest of the cards go back into your hand. There are a couple more options with scouting that we will probably get into later. If I had already got a points one and I scout again for that type, it goes face down instead and it counts as another search token in the future. You can always choose to ignore the mission that's on there and do a basic mission that always costs four but gets you no rewards and it goes face down straight away, but is giving you more and more for the future. Okay, then Marty's scouting. He's got a lot of cards too. He wants points or books. So he wants somewhere adjacent to him. Let's just pick this one. And what's he got here? Books, batteries, and tools. So, you know, I, I can see now tools have come up, but he can see my emergency plan, and Joe you know, knows that I need tools so it comes down to how how many search tokens has he got he's got one two three four doctor doesn't count five six seven he would have had enough if he'd got his other card out which you know he could have done if he'd paid some transport tokens or even just if he'd used a yellow card on his battery he could have had that other card but he didn't and he didn't know he was going to need eight but there, that's how he's going to get the books later. So he's got seven. So he could get himself another battery, two tools, and you know, take an option away from me. I think he likes that. So he doesn't want to give up his nice new card, his way of getting money. That's his last red. I think he's going to put in the scout. Actually, he's not going to put in the scout. He's going to keep the scout. He's put in one of his yellows. He can put in his one red. He will 
He'll put in his blue and his yellow as well. He's just prepared to be missing one if he gets unlucky with the shuffle. So he's got... Oh, he needs five, though, doesn't he? So he'll put in... He'll put in his mechanic and risk not having uh, some money income next turn. Okay, then. So he's done five. He gets this. It's his first of that type. He gets himself two tools. So he gets his cubes and puts them in the tools section. Oh, there we go. And, yeah, we need to shuffle this up. I don't really remember what was in it anyway. And this one is the one he's going to lose. It's the mechanic. The other ones go back face up. And the other scout cards go back to his hand. Okay, we've both done some scouting. We can go to new objectives now. And this is where the display comes in. We can each buy as, as many objectives as we like, really. But the cost is, from a full row, a card is $4. If the row's got two in it, it costs $3. And if the, the row's only got one in it, it costs $2. Seeing as I'm the first player, any objectives I want are going to cost me four. But since I used all of my objectives up, this is still an objective, the emergency plan that I've got. It's still got some things on it. But I probably want to spend this to get some new objectives, really, don't I? So what's out here? We could have... We probably don't want another double red, do we? If we look at the, the colours that I want to get over to see, yellow would be quite nice. So maybe one of these double yellows. And there is a double yellow out here that wants you to spend four and to have one of your stacks with yellow, red, red on it. So that could be done in a couple of turns. That is a bit of a delay, though. Whereas this one here doesn't cost any more money. I just need a tool and two food. So that's more doable, isn't it? Even though I've got no resources right now. And then I would get a yellow and progress a little bit more. I think that's what I want to go for. So I spend all of my four money. Marty is in the same situation, although now he can have one of these for only three money. Or he can have something else. So there are, there are these cards as well that aren't volunteers. They're just objectives to fulfill. This is your objective here. So have four money and have a stack with blue, yellow, yellow in it. Then you've achieved this. You would get two points and to put a... A, a, a cube anywhere and then you get a special action so during waste instead of turning food into two money always you could turn two food into four points instead i think marty especially since he lost his other mechanic he likes he likes the look of having this mechanic up here even though it's going to cost him all four this mechanic is better because for a main action you just get, you just get six and then you can spend tools to get four more Unfortunately, he lost the mechanic because he has got tools to spend now. And the objective here is three cubes of any one type and then blue, yellow, yellow in one stack. Okay, that's the new objectives. Now we do cleanup. If anyone has any food or water, we have to get rid of it. You turn your food into two money each. Water, each one can be turned into one money each, but two water can be turned into one of the you know, three search tokens that you can spend later on to get the better rewards potentially when you're scouting. So we haven't got any of these. You can discard one unfinished objective because you know you've only got space for three and then discard the rightmost card of each row in the display. The display doesn't get refilled though until a row empties. So now they're going to be quite cheap next round. If only we had any money. Next, we secure districts. So we look around at all the districts on the board. The districts are the spaces in between the lines. We look and see if a district has been surrounded by one colour of cubes. Now, this early on, that hasn't happened. When it does, the person that does it is going to get the most reward, but everyone touching that district in some way is going to get some points as well. But we'll see that when it happens later on. Next, refresh your hand and carry out check mark actions if you do refresh your hand. So without being upgraded, you can refresh your hand if you have naught to four cards in your hand. I've got a ton, so I can't refresh my hand. Same for Marty. He's got loads of cards as well. Refreshing your hand would mean you pick one of the stacks of cards in front of you and take all of the cards back from it. 
and you can upgrade this later on. So one objective that you've permanently got on your board, spend four cubes of the same type and have blue, blue, red, red in one stack. That gives you 10 points and lets you take this that covers up the 0-4 and now means that you can refresh when you have 0-6 cards instead. There's also this one down here, which is spend 10 money, 2 purple, 2 yellow in a stack, get 10 points, and then unlock your fourth row of cards, which means you're playing four every round instead of three. For now though, that's the end of the round. The purple stick passes over to Marty, and he will be the new first player and call out the steps. So first thing is to roll the resource dice and see what we've got available. So we've got books, medical supplies, tools. So Marty wants three of a kind. He's got a double red and oh, he's already got two tools as well. So a double red would give him everything that he needs. So what stacks does he want? On his emergency plan here, he wants purple, yellow, yellow, red. Or does he want to be able to be drawing more cards, in which case he wants blue, blue, red, red? I think he wants blue, blue, red, red. So he's going to put this double red, and I might be going off the screen here on static cam. I apologize for that. He puts that uh, on, the, on the other red stack so they could build up. I think he's going to use his scout to get some scouting tokens since he has a fuel, and this is going to get him some money as well, two money, which is going to be enough for a card, isn't it? And then what does his third one want to be? Now he does have, he's going to have a spare tool. So he needs water for here. He could play a yellow and then he could get a water from the yellow by paying a token. He's going to do that. Okay, that's Marty's plan sorted. What's my plan? I need tools and two food. So we can play the red. And what are my stacks? I want purple, purple, yellow, red. So this can be the red on the yellow. Yeah, I'm going to play my double red, and we're going to have that. We're going to pay a transport token to make that food, because the food is one away from the red. Then I need a tool that could just be, you know, a single red. I probably want to play my scout in some way to get some money. Yeah, we'll do that. And then we'll play the other red to get some tools to pay the scout so the scout gets us more money. Okay, yeah. So we're going to get the objective and maybe get one more objective, but I don't think we're progressing on much else. Okay, step two then. Deploy volunteers and specialists. Marty is getting... What was he getting with this? He was getting a water, wasn't he, with the yellow and the transport token. So cube goes on there. Two red gets him two tools. Oh, he's already got four. Oh, keep throwing them into the fuel section. And his last card is the scout, so he can pay a fuel or a book. He'll pay the fuel that he's already got. And that gets him a scout token and two dollars. Okay, what was mine? <laughs> I need a reminder. So I'm playing double red. So I'm playing double red with a transport token to get two food, aren't I? And then double red gets me two tools, and then I'm spending one of those tools for the mechanic's ability, which is get three money, and then three more if you pay a tool. So I'm getting six money. So I might be able, I might be able to get a couple of cards here. Okay. Right, now objective time. So Marty, he has... Yes, he's got the water, hasn't he, and the tool. So he is going for water and tool. And he can take this volunteer here and put a cube in a yellow space. Perfect for Marty. It's going right along his route. Next round, he already has the three tools he needs, the three of a kind. With one more yellow card on there, he'll be able to get the mechanic, but he can't just yet. Yeah, he's got the yellow card in his hand, as long as he doesn't, so he needs to remember, don't use that for scouting. My objectives, I'm paying all of my resources again, my tools and my two food, to get my new volunteer, which lets me put a yellow down, 
And that is finally going to be along my route. Okay, new objectives. So Marty gets the first pick. He's only got two money, so he definitely wants someone from one of the rows that's only got one in it. Does he want the blue volunteer? Or what's on help the doctor? Have a look. So the objective is two water and a medical supply to get two points and put a cube anywhere. Well, in any color adjacent to you. And then he gets a check mark action. We haven't really gone into these yet. This is it's a refresh hand and then carry out check mark actions. When you achieve this objective, it goes to the left of your board with your check mark actions. And so whenever you do refresh your hand, Marty would be able to pay a book to get two medical supplies. I think, though, he wants the volunteer for two money. That goes in his objective spot over there. And he pays. And one row is empty, so we need to replenish that now. And so what have we got? We've got some checkmark actions where you can pay some, pay two money for batteries, but the objectives are a bit different. And a triple yellow card there. So for me, I've got six money. I can have what I want. I could have, though, one from here and the top one if I wanted to do that. I do like the sound, though, of being able to buy batteries at the end of every round for two for only two money as well and you can use them as any resource only only one battery per round but still that's nice and i'd get to put a cube anywhere and i want most of all right now a purple cube but that is paying double i could pay only two and just take that help the doctor card at the top and that triple yellow is going away that's getting discarded in cleanup Oh, what do I do? I think we'll go cheap. We're going to go cheap for now. And we're just going to get help the doctor up there. But that means I can afford the triple yellow. No, hang on to your money. Okay, so we need to refill the row because it's been emptied. Oh, I missed scouting. I'm not going to try and do, uh, do take backs to make it look like I remembered. Uh, I, I forgot. So scouting, Marty, I've had a quick count, and he's actually got five tokens in his hand. And this three scout token, which he can spend and scout here again to achieve the books one that's half of his objective. So he's going to go for that. He's going to get himself three books. And then... Then what's he going to do? Uh, oh, he needs to shuffle this up, doesn't he? Shuffle up his hand and lose one of the cards. Hard to do <laughs> with one hand. We're going to lose this one. Just a blue. Okay. Which means that maybe he would have taken a different card. Maybe now he's got all of these books, he would have taken Help the Doctor. But yeah, we'll, we'll just live with, uh, <laughs> we'll live with what we did. So uh, clean up. Yeah, no one's got food or water. No one wants to discard an objective. We discard the rightmost card of each row. Secure districts, still none surrounded just yet. Then refresh hand. Marty has got one, two, three, four cards. So he can do this now. Does he want to? I think he wants his scout back. Yeah, maybe he was making this, but he can't make three different things at once. He's going he's gonna to take that stack back and he hasn't got any checkmark actions just yet. I haven't done any scouting, am I? Oh, what is wrong with me? <laughs> I'm going to do some scouting then. This has gone all over the place now. I apologize. So I could have some points again. It would get me a point and give me another one of these for the future. I think that's pretty much my only option if I want to scout. I've got one, two, three, four, five, five tokens in total. So I think that's my best bet. I'm also removing one of these as well, and I know that Marty needs one, so there's that added bonus to it as well. So I'm not going to put my double yellow in. I'm just going to do all of my other eligible cards. And so let's, let's lose one. Uh, <laughs> this one, one of the reds. And so I get the point reward. But this, because I already have a points token, this goes face down now, and I've permanently got an extra search token. 
Okay, now my hand is more than four, so I don't get to refresh. Phew, we sorted it out in the end. Now let's do an untangled round, hopefully. Roll resource dice and plan cards. The game goes on, by the way, until the deck runs out. And as I said, the deck has been reduced quite a lot for only two players. Roll these. Oh, these need to go back on the board. So we have tools, fuel, and water. So yeah, all on one side of the rondel, unfortunately. So I would like water. Medical supplies are going to be a bit harder to get hold of this round. Water needs blues, and I haven't got any blue cards, have I? No, I haven't. I have yellow. I can spend this and the transport token to get the water that I need. I think for my objective, I was wanting to make this pile yellow, red, purple, purple. So... We're not going to be able to get the resources for the Doctor, I don't think, this round for that objective. So we're not going to complete an objective, which is a shame, isn't it? Yeah. And we're not going to be able to scout if we haven't got enough cards. Now, I can just, you know, I could play this to get the water and then play, say, a red and two transport tokens to get the medical supplies that I need. Then this is out and I'm progressing in some way. And then this is available even though I wouldn't get to use it. I don't think that helps me though. It puts me one more turn behind getting this objective. So I'm, I'm definitely going to put the doctor there. I'm going to get the medical supplies with this card. So I'm going to have one spare for the future. And then I've got red or yellow. So what I like fuel or tools. I think... We've already we've we've got two reds, so let's just put a red down. And maybe this is going to end up being the red, red, blue, blue, and four resources. Maybe. Now Marty, he's got the three of a kind. He definitely wants to put a yellow on here so that he's achieved this card. So that's going to get him fuel. And he needs he's got a book. He's got a tool. Oh, he's going to spend the tools though. So he wants another tool. So that's going to be a red. Put that on a new stack. Then I think he's going to put his scout out again because he's already got a book that he can use for a token and that'll help him to hopefully get something scouted later on because he is running out of cards. Can he get both of these though? Did we work that out? He's going to get himself two more tools and he'll have a book. Yeah, I think he can do both of these and still do the scout. So he'll get these two cards that will help him with the scouting. Brilliant. Okay then, so my turn, we are using, how are we getting the medical supplies? This was to get water, wasn't it? To use a yellow. Oh, terrible planning. I'm going to have to spend two transport tokens. And a red, and if I did it twice, that would be both times would cost me. And if I do get the water now, I'm not going to be able to keep it. Can we just build up some resources then and just kind of have a dud turn? We'll keep the cards that we've played. We'll maybe not put the Doctor down. Even though I did want... I just, I just wanted a purple card there, though. We could pay the two with the red card and get a medical supply. We'll spend it straight away to get a card back. So we, do we want our scout? Our leader is two scout tokens. Might help me be able to scout. I would have four things then. Yeah, so I, I score the points on the card. That's what the Doctor does. I'm going to get three points. And, you know, if, if the leader doesn't uh, get discarded with the scouting or put, it, put back into the hospital, uh, her ability is get a battery and activate a checkmark ability. So I get three points now. So I'm up to five. And two yellow It's just going to get me two fuel. Marty's was two yellows is going to be fuel. Did he want fuel? Why did he want fuel? <laughs> I can't remember this. So he's getting fuel, apparently. Reds. And then he can spend a fuel or a book to get three. To get a, to get a GPS token, a scout token. So he'll do that. He will spend a fuel then, because he doesn't need this for anything right now. And he gets two money. Next, objectives. So I 
As far as I can tell, I can't achieve anything at all. No. <laughs> That's a shame. Marty, though, three cubes of the same type. He's got blue, yellow, yellow in this stack. And he's going to spend three tools, so three of a kind. That gets him the mechanic and lets him put a purple, put a cube in a purple space. So he's nearly at the objective. And then this volunteer wants a book and tools. He can do that just fine. And so he's got another one. I feel like Marty's doing better. <laughs> he hasn't got himself stuck yet. And yeah, later on, he's, he's building up to be able to do these, isn't he? If he can get the right stacks, that is. Yeah, he needs two more blues on here to be able to retrieve cards faster. Okay. Scout. So I am just hoping for something that costs four or something, yeah, something faced. Oh, I can do five though. I've got one permanent token, haven't I? Let's scout somewhere we haven't seen before. We want, we want tools, don't we? If I could do this, this needs six. I've got five, so maybe there's a cheaper tools one out there. Let's have a look over here. So more points. So five tokens would get me another point and another face down scout token for later on. This one is money, so it's another type, which means more points at the end of the game. Although getting two isn't any more than having one. Or I could get some books and use some books later on. I think more scout tokens. I'm going to do this one. So these go back out onto the board. And I need... So I get myself a point. That goes up there as another permanent scout token. And I need to shuffle all of these up. Yeah, I genuinely don't know where the leader is. That is the one that I do not want to lose. So let's do one, two, three, middle one. <laughs> Why did I do three then? It's the yellow one. So we have still got the leader, which is very good. Okay. Where are we now? Scouting for Marty. He's got enough cards. So how many tokens has he got? He's still got his doctor, so that doesn't count. He's got one, two, three, four, potentially seven with his token. And he wants one with points now to complete his emergency plan, really. But yeah, he's kind of seen the... <laughs> I've been hoovering those up. So he'll look somewhere we haven't seen before, see if he can find it. Because he found an expensive points one, didn't he, somewhere? No, he's not scouted anywhere else yet, has he? Yeah, he'll go here. Okay, then. So he's got more tools, battery, points, but it's nine. Yeah, he's nowhere near that, is he? He's got seven. So just go for more types and go for the battery here by spending five. Yeah, he'll do that and just put his basic blue and yellow cards in. He doesn't need those for anything, does he? I don't think he particularly needs these saving. And then he'll spend his three token. So let's see. What's, uh, <laughs> what do we do here? Blue or red? Uh, we'll do this one. It's the yellow one. There was the blue one in there, was there? No, the other one was red. Okay, he gets, he gets a battery. And that's another type. He's got three types now. And he's always had a battery. He's doing quite well on resources. I always forget the batteries. I, I don't particularly like the way that the resources are represented in this. But hey, that's first impressions territory, right? Objectives. I'm going first. I have four money. What have we got available? For two money, I could support the school. It's another action that wants books. And this is one where... You know, when you've done one of these lines of objectives, this is the same for your emergency plan as well. As soon as you've done one line, you get this reward and you can choose to just complete it, get the cube out onto the board, and then it becomes a checkmark action. Or you can wait, do another one, get the reward, and this one has a bonus if you do all of the objectives, five extra points. Or do I get another better volunteer? It's points as long as they're not in the hospital at the end. And they're not still in the objectives part. Or do I go for one of those black market cards I wanted? We've got two fuel. So support the school. 
Yeah, we've nearly done that one. That's turning books into points as the check mark action. I do want one of these black market actions though. I'm going to spend three money and I'm going to take this one because I don't want too many things that all need the same resource. That one wants medical resources as well. Yeah, we'll diversify a little bit. Marty then, he only has two money and I've given him a choice now. He can have the black market card. He can afford that. He has, let's see, he's already got a fuel, a tools and two books. I think he'll just grab the other black market card. Okay, so that's his two money gone. We refill this row. Then clean up. No one has food or water. Don't want to discard objectives. Discard the rightmost card. Which means this row needs filling up now. If that deck suddenly looks smaller to anyone, I've forgotten to remove the cards I was supposed to. We could have been having a very long game. Double the length of an all two player game. Okay, secure districts. Still haven't done that. And refresh hand. So I can finally refresh my hand. I haven't got any check mark actions. And what was I building up? I think I was doing my objective over here. Oh, I need another purple. Which is perfect because I've got my leader now. So what? who do I want to grab back? Let's see. It depends on resources. I've already got a red. So this stack here would get me blue and yellow. And then I've got all of my options. And I've got the mechanic if I want some money instead of the battery. Yeah, that sounds good to me, I think. I'm going to take that step back. Haven't got any checkmark actions to do. Marty, he's got... He's got four cards, hasn't he? Yes. He has, so he can... take a stack back. I don't think this stack is doing anything anymore. Blue, yellow, yellow. So he could have that back. He's got... Yeah, then he's got all of the cards that he needs. Or does he just keep bringing the scouts back for, you know, that three token? He's not going to do that, though. Maybe this can be the stack he needs for his emergency plan. It's red and purple already. Just needs two yellows on top of it. Okay. So he hasn't got any checkmark actions either. He is the new first player. Roll the dice. Let's see. Fuel. First aid. Food. So Marty wants medical supplies, really. What blue has he got? He's only got one. Oh, this one's a double. So I think... I think he's going to play this on top of these reds. Maybe he can do this in the future. And uh, be able to refresh more often. He wants yellows over here, so he'll just play this... right now. And then he wants the food for his black market objective, so he's going to put a red down here. So the double yellow, though, does he want two more fuel? He's not going to have any money to get a new card as well. So does he put down his mechanic instead of, say, the red that gets him the food he needs? And does he pay two transport tokens on top of the yellow? That seems a bit wasteful. But then he's got a load of money. You know, he's got the tools to spend. That's 10 more money. And he could even use the money for resources instead. So, yeah, he's going to spend the two transport tokens, I think. So that's his turn planned out. Mine. I don't have anything that I need, do I? I've got, I've got fuel. And I don't need fuel. Let's see, do I want more money? That's a purple. I do want another purple in this stack, don't I? So it's either my mechanic or my leader is going to go out. And the leader gets me a battery, which I probably really need right now. So we can get medical supplies with the blue. And you know, that's red, red, blue, blue. And playing this yellow means that I'm tapping it, waiting for it to come to me. Playing this yellow means that I would get two more fuel, and that's four of a kind, and then I can get this. Okay. And then as long as we put a purple down here, I think I'm going to save my mechanic until I've got a tool to spend. Or do I save my leader until I've got a checkmark action to spend? I'm going to hang on to the leader because the leader... The leader is more beneficial for scouting. It means that I'll have five for scouting instead of four. So I'm going to play the mechanic there. And that's my decision really far off. I'm sorry the static cam, you're just hearing all of this. But yeah, I, you zoomed out as far as possible. 
Okay then. Okay, let's deploy the volunteers and specialists then. So Marty is getting 10 money, basically. He's going to spend this one tool that he's got. He gets $10. Then two blue is two medical supplies. And he's doing two yellow, isn't he? But he's spending two transport tokens. He's still, he hasn't really spent them. And he is taking them as food instead. Although he has got batteries, hasn't he? He doesn't really need to do that. Yeah, what if he keeps his transport tokens, just gets these as fuel for the future, and just uses his batteries as food? One of his batteries as well. Yeah. That sounds good. Me? I'm just getting three. I haven't got the tools to spend to get any more. Two yellow is fuel there. And then one blue is medical supplies. Next, objectives. So one food, two medical supplies. Marty can do that if his food is this battery. And so he's going to get himself two points and put a cube anywhere. The cube is going to be... Oh, it's going to be over here. Because then he's done, isn't he? He's done his path. Okay, and then... He's done his emergency plan. So he's going to get five money for linking up B to B. But to Q1 to say that he's done that, does he want to just leave it at that? He is only one turn away from doing this and potentially, yeah, not with what he's got right now, but potentially next turn, he could, say if he used this, yeah, all he needs is a, token with points on it, and then that's another five money. But if he gets rid of it now, he gets the anytime action, but he hasn't got any medical supplies. He can wait. Can he? Yeah, he's going to wait one more turn because he's one turn away from doing the next one, so he's just going to wait there. My objectives, I have... What do I have? I thought I had the resources for one of these. I've got medical supplies. I haven't got any water. What happened there then? Did I think fuel was water? Or, or was I just doing this one? Because I want to unlock this. But I'm going to get to recall anyway this turn. Okay then, take backs. I'm going to get a transport token. I can do this by spending a point. And I'm going to imagine that I got water instead of fuel. So then at least that way, I spend my supplies and my water. And I've got an objective out. I can put a cube anywhere. And that's going to be the next one along. So I've nearly done my path. Maybe next turn I can do that. And two points. So we're on seven to two right now. And I've achieved this objective now on my emergency plan. I have that stack of cards. So I get five money as well. And I'm going to wait because I'm you know, one turn away from doing this. And I think... I should be able to scout the tools soon. Although there is, the tools are right there that I could use. Yeah, the, 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 the thing is, if I'd wait, if I'd you know, gone off and maybe put a cube there instead, then I could have got access to... No, I couldn't. I'm away from that district, aren't I? I'm quite a way away from it. We just have to hope in one of these unknown districts that there's a cheap tool, one that I could do this turn, then maybe I could completely do my emergency plan. Okay, that, that's objectives for now, though, I think. Scout, Marty's first, so what does he want to scout? He wants points, doesn't he? He's still trying to find points, and he hasn't got nine. He wants one of the cheaper points tokens. He's going to go all the way up here, I think. And what does he find? No points. He could get another books one. He might as well. If he's going to scout, he might as well do that. So he can't use his doctor. Oh, he's only got three, actually. So he's not got enough, so he's just kind of revealed them for me. My turn, I have three, four, five, and I want tools, don't I? So that one, that one's six, so close. So let's go over here, we don't know what's in here. We've got more points, and it's six. Oh, I've only got five though, haven't I? Well, I'm excited about that. Get a battery, get two fuel. I think... 
what should we get? Yeah, I wish I could get the points and take that away from Marty and get another thing for myself. But let's go for, so battery or fuel. I think having a battery is my choice. So I need to shuffle these up again and... Ugh. Yeah, how, how do you do this fairly? <laughs> yeah, I genuinely can't remember which one's where, though. So, what, what do we think? Do we think left or right? Really, I'm, this is a game I'm playing against myself. I shouldn't be too worried, should I? Uh, I genuinely don't know which one's which. I lose the red. And so I get myself one battery, and that's a new type of search token for me. And new objectives. Marty is rich. He's got 15 money. So he's buying whatever he wants. He's going to go for the purple. Is he? He wants that one, but he's not going to go for it straight away. Maybe he wants the cheap triple yellow up there. Or no, what he's going for, he's going to pay three to get something off a row that's got two cards in it. He's going to grab Secure the Pharmacy because this, every time you refresh your hand, is a first aid kit. For me, I've ended up with uh, a fair bit of money now, so it's okay for me. I want blue more than anything, but I haven't got that. I do have this stack, though. If I could get two tools, I could put that security out. But I don't want to be the person that's paying for a full row, really, do I? I'm going to go for this triple yellow at the top. Because it only cost me two. So we fill the row. And Marty has got this stack already. Although he's already got two books and two fuel for that one at the top. That one's pay four money to get three of the same resource for the thugs action. I think he wants the thug. He's going to pay four. I still have seven money left. Do I want to buy something else? Anything at the top there? Or do I have fuel? Nobody's bothered about fuel? It's important. I I don't think I want to buy another one. I could maybe buy a battery with my, with five of my money later on. So I'm going to leave that. Marty can still buy one. See, he's got eight money still. I think he's going to take this cheap one here, help out the gas station, because he generates one of these every time he gets a check mark. So basically getting two fuel every time if he wants it. Uh, so that goes in his objective section. This needs refilling. And then in cleanup, we need to get rid of the rightmost one of each. Nobody's in secure districts yet. I'll do that soon, I promise. Next turn, I think. Refresh hand. Marty has one, two, three, four cards. He doesn't want to take this one back. Or this one, really, if he wants to get the better refresh. But I think so that he's got options. The mechanic was just getting more money. But then having more cards means more searching. He's going to grab these back. For me, I've only got one card. And I've done this now, so maybe I want to take this stack back. Because I want that stack out so I can do this, hopefully, next turn. Okay. And check mark actions. Marty's definitely going to pay two. To get himself a battery. I don't have a book to get medikits from. Okay, so I'm the first player again. Roll the dice. And... Okay, food, tools, and books. I want food and tools. So a double red is going down for those tools. A blue... I don't have a blue! I wanted the blue to stay out, didn't I? It's my own fault. I have a battery there. Okay, so how do I want to make these stacks? I kind of want yellow, yellow, purple, purple if I want to unlock that later. 
Yeah, we need loads of tools and loads of food. Yeah, doubling up wasn't a good idea on these. It wouldn't hurt to have books. But I think I'm going to spend a transport token. I'm going to lose a point now. So I can have the doctor bring someone back because, yeah, the, it's building up for both of us, really, the number of cards we've got in this section. And I'd like some of those cards back. And the, the points I get from the card will hopefully offset the, the cost of the transport token a little bit. Marty, what's he got right now? He's got a load of fuel and some books. So he needs two of that fuel, doesn't he? And he's got the books that he needs. He wants a yellow to go on here, definitely. So that's another book. And he does want more books for here. He wants tools. Luckily, he's got a double red. And I think he's going to get some food because he'd be able to do the gas station as well. I think so. Yeah, he's sticking with that. Okay, then. So it's deploy me first. I'm getting two tools. One medical supplies, but I'm spending that straight away, aren't I, to bring someone back. So do I want my scout? Maybe get some more tokens later. My double blue, which would be more points. I think maybe the scout. No, the double blue, double blue. Oh, but I wanted these to have four of a kind of something, didn't I? So. Hmm. Is it that important to unlock this? I've, I've made this pattern now, so I've kind of got it in my head that I want to do that. But maybe we give up on it. To actually be unlocking cards. 10 points. But I don't really need the power. Yeah. That's a shame because I should have taken this stack back. I'll take it back at the end of this turn. But then I'm going to have a load of cards. <laughs> yeah, the cycle continues. We're sticking with what we've got. Yeah, we've done that. Marty. What's he doing? I think he's just getting, yeah, two food, two tools, and a book. Objectives then. So I'm spending a food as this battery here. Two tools. And so I've got this out here and I can get two points. And I'm on nine now. I forgot the one for... Oh, it's two, isn't it? Two for getting the blue card back. So I'm on ten now. I forgot the two for taking the card back from the doctor. And I get to put a cube anywhere. It's going to be on the blue that I need, or do I want to hold off on that? No, I don't. I'm doing this. I'm putting it there. So new objective achieved. I have done the emergency plan here, so I get five money. I would like to wait for the final one, and maybe get some tools, but I'm going to say that's done now. So it goes into the checkmark area, and I get to put another cube out anywhere I like. It's going to be here. I've surrounded an area. And I can turn that fuel into points in my surplus of fuel that I've got. Okay, that's objectives for me. Marty, he has enough for these two, I think. So that would be three books, two fuel, and two food. And he could, if he only wants to do one of these... He could get this out. Two tools and one book, which could be the battery. He's going to do that. He's not going to get the big bonus for doing both of them, but all of this achieved at once is pretty nice. And that goes into his hand. So he gets to put out two anywhere and a purple. I think he's going to surround two districts. Yeah, he's going to go... There... Those two are kind of safe. Maybe he wants to get in where I'm going. In case I surround this one, he's going to surround this one. There we go. He surrounded two districts in one turn. He's achieved the emergency plan as well. So that's five money. And he is going to wait to do the next one. Loads of objectives. Okay. 
Scout is where we are now. I don't really mind what I'm getting, do I? I've got one, two, three, four, five, six. So I could get something that I know is out there. It would be nice to get a book. So what if we go here? I've got six. We've worked that out. That's a new type for me. Two books. And then I lose one of these. Hopefully not my leader. And we lose. One, two, or three, everyone. Two. That's the leader. Bad choice. And where does that leave us? A new type there for me. Marty Scout. He wants to scout points. He's got one. Doctor doesn't count. Two, three, four. So, yeah, still rubbish for <laughs> trying to get these tokens. He will go then somewhere we haven't seen before and hope to get a low value one. So, that is medkits, fuel, money. Medkits is only needs four. He's going to do that. Another type. He's going to get one medkit. And he needs to lose someone from his hand that could be one of his brand new guys. I need to take the Doctor out of this shuffle, don't I? Well, if, if I get the Doctor, I'll draw again. Uh, this one. Though it's the new thug. Didn't even get a chance to use him. So he's probably going to try and use his Doctor <laughs> pretty soon. Oh, they should be face up now, shouldn't they? Okay. So, new objectives. I have... A lot of money. I have 12 money now. I think I'm going to spend three and get this mechanic. Getting some more money would be nice. Marty. He's got a load of money as well. What's he got? He's got a fuel, a first aid, and a battery. I think he's going to go... He's going to pay two. He's going to grab the teacher in need of meds just because he can put a cube anywhere then. Although he... He is running out of cards in his hand, isn't he? Because so many are going to the hospital. We need to refill that top row. Me again. Security would be nice. I do have that stack if I leave those out. But there's so many cards to be leaving out now, and I'm not really going for that, I think we decided. Do I go for something new from the top? Organized food convoys there. I could, if I got a lot of money, I could do them, but I would spend the money I have getting them. I think I'm just going to leave it there. I'm not going to get another one. Marty still has seven money. He can get one. He's going to just pay two, and he's going to have that triple yellow. Because, you know, five points if he can achieve it. New cards come out. Okay, even though I passed, I could get something from here. These cards would mean that your GPS tokens are worth an extra search token. It says that on there. <laughs> and they're cheap. A book and a medical supplies, they're both the same. I'm going to grab that. That is four money, isn't it, from a full row? Marty won the other one. Even though my scout is in the hospital and has been all game. Marcy's going to stick there. Keep his money. Okay. So, clean up. No one's got food or water. No one wants to discard an objective. Discard the rightmost card. Yeah, there aren't many cards left in that deck. Secure districts. Okay, secure districts time. Let's look at surrounded districts. Here we go first. So, we need to remove all of the scout tiles that are left. They're gone now. Were there points in there? Just a big points one, Marty can't be too disappointed. I get to put one of my secured district markers, one of these little houses, onto that space now, and that's going to unlock a check mark action for me. So do I want... I have books, I could turn a book into a, a scout token, and I've got that boost, so that's a good prospect, isn't it? I could turn a fuel into two transport tokens. Nice. Turn tools into money, no... Medipacks into batteries, no. Money into points. I am going to go for... I'm thinking... Yeah, I'm thinking books into transport tokens. Yep. So my hook goes on the board. 
And now every player that is touching any space surrounding that district, so unfortunately it's only me, unfortunately for Marty anyway, fortunately for me, I've got three cubes, that's three points. So I'm on 13 to 2 now, but Marty is about to secure two districts. So let's do this one. And yeah, I'm not involved in these at all either. I think Marty wants the same one as me to start with. And so he's got four surrounding that. That's going to be five points. And then over here, I think he's going to have... I think he's going to have money into points. He's not going to get to use yet, but in the future, hopefully. So he's got a four and a three. So that is five plus three, eight points. So he's caught up there. Refresh hand. I only have two cards, so I can do it. And I, yeah, I want to. And I think I'm going to take back all of these cards. Checkmark actions. I can turn a book into two medicates. I want to do that. I can turn a book into a GPS token. I want to do that. I can pay two money for a battery. I want to do that. And I can pay a fuel for three points. Do I want to do that? I don't need fuel for these cards. Yeah, I'm going to do it. Marty's two money for a battery. He's going to do it. He gets a medikit. And then he can turn that medikit into two fuel if he wants. No, he's just going to take the, the first aid kit. Okay. Oh, and he hasn't, he hasn't refreshed though, has he? He's got one, two, three, four cards. So now he's achieved the thing, he's going to take the stack back. Or does he want to wait? Maybe unlock this? He's not getting 10 money though. Maybe he is. He's got another purple to play. And he could bring back this stack that would give him the 10 money. And he can unlock his fourth action slot. So that's the round again. Marty is the first player. Resource dice. That's going to be... Oh, finally. All this time in, we finally got a match. Reroll these. Come on. There we go. We haven't got time for a show off. Okay, dice are rolled. What does Marty want then? He wants to play a purple on here for sure. And it's going to be the one that gets him money. He needs a tool then. So he's going to have to play... A red. Group the reds up there. He's going to have to play a red with a transport token if he wants the tools. And then, what's up, Marty's fallen over at some point. Sorry, Marty. Uh, so he's not going to get to do this because he's not going to have another tool. Can he get three water and two many? I, th I think, though, his plan was to do the doctor. Yeah, he's going to do the doctor and get a card back. He's got medical supplies and just not unlock these cards just yet. My turn. What have I got? I was going to use my doctor, wasn't I? Yeah, I was going to go on this stack as well. Maybe I can unlock mine at some point. I've got... So have I got a double yellow? I could get some water. No, my double yellow's still out there. I haven't got any yellow. I could get food. But then I wouldn't have the tools. Let's see, I want a book. We can get this one out. Yeah. And then we'll get, just if we get two food, it's going to go away. We could spend a token, though, and turn it into tools or supplies or something. Yeah, we'll decide later. Okay. So Marty, he's spending medical supplies to bring someone back from the hospital. I don't think, has he brought anyone back this game yet? He could get his leader. I think he wants his thug, though. Although he's not going to have the money to activate the thug just yet. It is the most points as well. Or double blue, maybe. Or maybe just the leader. More scouting. He's going to bring the leader back. So that's going to be three points. He's using his red with a transport token to get a tool. And then he is doing the mechanic. Six money. Spend a tool to get four more. Spend a tool. So that is ten money. And that's his deployment. I'm getting two books, apparently. <laughs> Remember why? Uh, I'm, I'm paying first aid. Wait a minute, that's Marty. 
I hope I haven't done that earlier in the game. That'd explain why he's doing so much better. Uh, two books. Then spend a medical kit that's in my hand to get someone back from the hospital. Who should we get back? The leader again? Yes, leader. Three more points. And then we're spending double red. I think we're losing a point. To get a transport token so that we can have two ulls. Two ulls instead. Okay. So that is the deployment. Objectives. Marty's doing this, isn't he? He's got two purple, two yellow, and ten money. He's getting ten points, and he's going to be playing four cards every round now. So we go 23 to 18 at the moment. Tool and two food. Can't do that. Three water. No, he was just giving up on this, wasn't he? And yeah, he's kind of stuck on his emergency plan if, unless he gets good scouting. He's hoping to get some good scouting. What was my plan? I've got a book and a medical kit, haven't I? So I can achieve this. Two points and put a cube out somewhere. It's going to be here to complete the district. And I don't think I can achieve either of these or any of these other two. So yeah, that is my objectives. Scout. Marty's still looking for those elusive points ones, the low points, things that I've left. What's he got though? Got one, two, three, four, five. So one just short, just short of the thing I can't think of. Oh, the scouting he needs. He'll look at, what about this shared one? He'll have a look here. But then he's revealing them for me to know what's there. He's going to go over here. So we've got batteries, points, but he needs nine. No. Yeah, he should probably have done the emergency plan and saved all of this hassle. What, what has he got? Five. Three, four, five, yeah. So he can't have any of these unless he just wants them as a face down one. To boost his scouting later. He's not going to do that. He's just not going to scout. He's let down. He's inconsolable, but he'll manage. My scouting... I have three, four, five, if I want to spend the three, of course, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So I could almost do the bottom of something. So this one here, it's not a new type. I would get three books and two points. Two batteries, two points. Uh, two fuel and three points. And do I need fuel? No, I don't need fuel. I can turn fuel into points, though. And then that's another type. I haven't got a fuel one. Yeah, we'll do the bottom of this one. So I only need 10. So I'm spending the token. And then I can keep one card safe from my hand. Well, one search token anyway. And I'll keep my mechanic safe. Okay, so we're losing a card from here. And it's going to be... Sorry, Marty. It's my arm that's knocking you over. It's going to be this one. Blue. Okay, and I need two fuel and three points. So we are neck and neck again. What are we on scouting? We've done scouting. New objectives. Marty only has three money. Or it still means he can have any of these cards. He's going to take organized food convoys, I think. Yeah, that's food every time he retrieves cards. And it's doable with money and not many resources. And maybe he can get some money next time. Ah, So close to being able to do that. It's really frustrating. Me, I have three money, so I'm only getting one card if I'm getting anything at all. I've already got two cards that need tools. I do have fuel, don't I? This could be okay. Support the hospital. And... So we've done new objectives. We need to, oh, we need to refill the top. Then clean up. No one's got food or water. No one wants to discard. Discard a card from the rightmost display. Okay, so filling these rows up, we can only fill one up. So we start to fill the other one up. And that possibly means I didn't have the right number in if, if there's one extra card there. <laughs> Probably means I didn't count right. Anyway, we fill up from the reserve. That's the cards we took out of the deck at the setup of the game. 
And now we're going to play one more round after this, and then that's it. Secure district. I did a new district. I think that's the only one. So, scout tiles go away. And turn fuel into transport tokens. Yeah, I like the sound of that. Did I spend my money for that card? I don't think I did. I don't know. Have I got tools? I could turn tools into money. That could be better for me right now, because then I can use the money to get batteries. Yeah, I'm going to do that. And then four, I'm going to get five points. Marty didn't secure any. Refresh hand. Marty's got one, two, three, four cards. He's going to take all of these back, which means he's not going to get to use his doctor, so all of these are kind of dead points. It was completely pointless getting that thug, although I suppose he got to put a purple out, which probably got him some points. For me, I've got one, two, three... Four, that's lucky. I thought I had five cards then. Four cards. What do I want to take back? I could get my doctor back. Eh. I don't have a medicate. But it's it's my yellows. It's more cards, isn't it, for scouting and stuff? No, it isn't. But it's yellows. Okay. So, check marks. Where are we here? Oh, I got an extra GPS token as well. I could have done something else. Ah, subtitle will have, will have come up. I'm going to spend a fuel to get three points. I'm going to spend two money to get a battery. Money that I might not uh, supposed to have. Uh, book? I don't need books for anything, so I'll spend my book, turn it into two medicates. Oh, I could turn a book into a GPS token. Do I want that instead? Yes. Done. I can turn a tool into three money as well. Okay, sorted. Marty's check marks. He hasn't got any books. He hasn't got four money. Well, this isn't looking good, is it? He gets a med kit. He can turn a med kit into two fuel. He'll do that because he's already got one med kit. He doesn't need them, though. And then he can spend two money to get a battery, but he hasn't got two money. Maybe my fortunes are turning around here. Okay then, last round. Roll resources. Books. Oh, <laughs> I've accidentally made them all different there. <laughs> I'll just start again. Uh, there we go. Uh, fuel, that is, and books. Okay, cards. What do I want? I want to try and get these cards off. I've got two... I've got fuel that I'm not doing anything with. Okay, we're going to go for battery and activate a check mark. I don't think it matters where these are going to go now. We're going to go for... We're going to go for get some water by using a transport token, so I'll knock a point off. And we're going to go for tools, which is also going to knock a point off for another transport token. Okay. Marty. He needs a lot of money and he's not getting any of it, is he? He's not going to get to do this emergency plan now. It's too late. So he completely wasted this by hanging on too long. Oh, he can get money though, can't he? He's got his... If he can get some tools, he can get money. He's got loads of transport tokens still. And he's got batteries. He can use the batteries as tools. So as long as there's a blue and a yellow, he could do this whole thing, seven points, and get something out. He does this to try and get some water. Or he wants a yellow to be in a stack with reds for this card. He wants the money to be able to do it as well. And he could get a nice scout token. Yeah, he'll have stuff left over for that. And then he, can, he needs to play another card because he's got his space unlocked. He only got to use it once. Get some food? Why not? Maybe he'll have something left over to put this one out. Ooh. Yeah, maybe he doesn't want the scout token. Maybe he wants... What's those as tools instead? No, he does want them as food. And then if he gets a tool, which he can use a battery for... 
And then, yeah, another battery for GPS tokens. That works out, right? I think that works out okay. I'm getting a bit frazzled now. <laughs> it's, uh, yeah, time's getting on. <laughs> okay. We've programmed things. Don't think about it again. Battery. For me. Activate a check mark. Oh, no, what check mark do I want? <laughs> we don't need more money. I could get to turn an extra fuel into something. I wish I'd executed these as I put them down. I can't remember what I was doing now. I think I'm getting water, aren't I? I'm getting water with the yellow. And then with the red, I'm getting tools. Why? I think I'm getting tools. And then activate a check mark. So what can I do right now? I've got I've got two water and two tools for this. And then I can use two fuel, two food from the batteries to do this one. So I've got a battery left over. So for activating the check mark for, for the leader, I could say one of the batteries is a book and get another GPS token. So I can really have a good scout this round. Okay, I think that's what I was doing. Marty is getting getting water, isn't he? With the yellows and the transport token. Two waters. Two blues was food. So I think he was using a fuel to get the GPS token. And he also gets two money. And he's spending a battery as tools for this so he can get 10 money. And I think that was his plan. Deploy volunteers, always done that. Scout. No, objectives. Don't cover up the objectives bit. So I've got, let's do this quickly before it runs out of my head. Two water, two tools. It lets me put something purple down. What purple did I want to put down? I don't think I can put something down that helps me because Marty's going to finish this district and I can't get there with a purple. Unless I spend two... Yeah, unless I spend two points for two transport tokens for skipping these two, then I could get to this purple. But then having one there is two points, so it cancels itself out, really. Yeah, there's no point doing it. So putting a purple down to help me... I don't think I'm going to get, get to put another one down. So I can put it here. Or here. And then I'm just one away from doing one. We might as well do it on the five, hadn't we? I don't think I can do another one, though, with the way I've worked all of this out. What have we got? Two. Two fuel. Oh, no, we can do it. Maybe this was the plan. Yeah, it was. Two fuel, two food. From the batteries. And then that's going to be two points. And a cube anywhere, which is this one. Boom! Brilliant. Uh, that's my objectives. I can't do anything else, I don't think. Marty's objectives. What was going on with here? He was doing this, wasn't he? He's doing nine money. He's got the blue and red in a stack. He's got two water. And so he's getting seven points and a cube somewhere. So he's closed the gap and he's putting a cube there to finish that district. And can he do anything else? He needs a tool and two food. He's got the food. Oh yeah, and this was going to be the tool. This must have been what he was doing. So three points and another cube. And he can do this district. Oh no, he might take it with those two districts. Okay, he can't do the other one. So scout. I want to do a big scout, don't I? I could just go for points here. Can I get 18 and 12 points? What have I got in my hand? Doctor can't scout. One. Two. Three. Four. And that's the doctor again. Four. Five, six, ten, fourteen. I need 18, so no. I could do this one, though, for six points. I'm not sure if it came from there. It's too late. Uh, six points. Is that worth it? Let's see, I've got four types. Getting a new type would be two points. 
but the resources they turn into a money each and then money every five money is a point so not too great but so what is that six points i think it's my best option isn't it yeah we we'll should spend it all so that goes face down for another search token so i'm just going to assume that i used all the cards and spent all of the tokens i think i'm a little bit under but we'll just i think it matters for so that was that was 8 10 and i needed 12 so only two from my hand so the ones that are worth the fewest points i'll keep that one because people in your hospital aren't worth any points so i only need two so i'll do the two that are worth the fewest points I'm not even going to be random about this. It doesn't matter at this point. I lose a point for doing that. Okay. Marty Scout. What's he got? He's got no GPS tokens or anything. He's got some transport. Oh, he's got a GPS token. Where's that come from? He's got one. Okay, so he's got three, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That's a shame, isn't it? You only get something from the top. Here we go. Four points. It's a bit late, but he's getting a point to one. And it's a new type. So, yeah. He's spending everything. He gets four points. And I've remembered to give me my six points. So we're neck and neck. And... I believe that's scouting done. Marty, though, may well lose his three points card. Let's jumble all of this up somehow. And take... Let's take the one in the middle. Just one point. But he's got a lot in his hospital. We've both got a lot in our hospital, really. We haven't been utilizing our doctors that much. Okay. New objectives. Pointless, as far as I can tell, in the last round. You can't achieve them anymore. They're not worth points if they're in your objective section. So just be a complete waste of money. Clean up. Haven't got food. Haven't got water. Don't want to discard objectives. Maybe we want to out of spite at the very end. Discard the rightmost card. I'll do it. Why not? Then, secure districts. So I've got a district, haven't I, over here? And a house. What have I got? I've got no resources whatsoever. I've got some money, though. Turning four money into two points is better than the normal exchange rate, so I'm going to take that one, put it out. It's a district with five cubes around it, which is going to be seven points for me. So 44. Marty's getting two of them, though, isn't he? Yeah. So he doesn't really care. He can turn a tool into three money. He hasn't got a tool left, though. Yeah, this does. it doesn't matter what he puts out. He's just going to grab two random ones, put them out here and here. And so he's done one that's a four, and one, two, three, four, five. So that is seven, seven plus five, 12 points. That's 49 he's on. There, we haven't... <laughs> we've split up completely, haven't we? Uh, yeah, <laughs> I'll talk about that in first impressions. There is something you can do to tighten it up in two players. But it's not the standard game. Uh, so finally, refresh hand, carry out checkmark action. So refreshing your hand, I don't think it matters at all, really. Because the, these count as points. As long as they're not in your hospital, they're still points. So we'll just take anything back, shall we? Assume we could both... Oh yeah, it matters for refreshing, doesn't it? But we both had four cards or fewer. So actions. I've got no resources. I have got... I can spend two money to get a battery, but then the battery just gets turned straight back into... Oh, what if... No, I can spend two money to get a battery and treat that battery as a fuel to get three points. Sounds good to me. No. No. Yeah, and that's better than spending four money to get two points, isn't it? Marty's, he gets a med kit. He can pay two money for a battery. There's no point to that, though, is there? A med kit into two fuel is just, it, it's one more resource, isn't it? So, might as well do that. A food. And turn a med kit into two books. Again, might as well. And then over here, has he got four money? He's got three money. He can turn, he hasn't got a tool. 
He could spend... Is this worth doing? He could spend two money to get a battery, then use the battery as a tool to get three money, and then use his four money in total to get two points. Yeah, I'm going to skip all of the cube pushing and just, yeah, give him the two points for the three money, because he can do that. Okay, then. So, we are done. Whew. Marty sells his resources. He's got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven resources still on the rondelle. So that's seven money. I'll give him two change because five of it turns into a point. I haven't got any resources and I haven't got five money, so I don't get any points. So now, the points are the cards that you have. So what do I have here? Four, five, seven. 12, 14, 15, nothing, 18, 22, so 69, Marty's cards, let's get rid of the ones that were on objectives so they don't get confused in, Marty's cards are 1, 2, 3, Six, eight, nine, eleven, twelve, fifteen, hmm, eighteen. That's less, isn't it? So seventy. Oh, so I've caught up a little bit, but he's going to take over now, isn't he? I've got four types of search tokens, which is five points. One, two, three, four, five. Marty's got five different types. These are discards, don't worry about all of that. <laughs> You've seen my mess. Uh, Marty's got five types, so that is seven points. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And is there anything else? That is it. Ties would be broken with money, but Marty just takes it by three points there, 77 to 74. So, whew, that was a game of Blackout Hong Kong for two players. I hope that gave you some idea of what the game is like and whether you would be interested in finding out more yourself or giving it a go or something like that. If you enjoyed this playthrough and you'd like to see more, there's hundreds on this channel. You can subscribe, like the video and stuff. Leave a comment. Let me know what you think about Blackout. I'm running out of... The, I'm, I can't even tell you that my ability to speak is running out. I'm going to go and talk about it now. You can see me tell you what I think about the game in this link here. But thank you very much for watching, everyone, and I'll see you for the next game. Bye.